that was very odd. Somehow their connection was lost. And just as I was about to begin leading the guided meditation, my, my, I know something happened with the internet. So I'm going to begin now just so that, because I know there's a lot of people that wanted to watch this recorded afterwards. So I'm going to do it anyway, even though we had an interruption. So if you were here before, I appreciate you rejoining. Thank you. And just, just to um, reiterate, set your space. So if you want to change the lighting, change the, the temperature in the room, change what you're wearing so that you can be focused and present and you have, you know, you're comfortable and, you know, with what you're wearing, the, the surrounding area and the lighting. And then just you'll be sitting on the floor, if you can be, with your palms on your knees or on your shins or on your ankles. Just so you're creating connection between your hands and your body. That's important for part of the exercise. And you're going to be sitting on the floor, if you can be, with on speaker. So you don't have to be with your headset or on your phone. You can be free to be with yourself. And then just bring your hands to your knees or your shins or your ankles. And eyes either closed or just looking through the eyelashes. And then when we're done, if you guys want to comment, you know, when we're done, you can comment in the comments. So we're going to begin in 30 seconds. Get yourself settled. Some of you are going. I know the temptation will be to continue looking at me, but I really encourage you to now go inside, even though I'm broadcasting out and you can see the video. I want you to be able to connect with yourself as well. You can connect again at the end. All right, good. So we're going to begin. Again, eyes either closed or looking through the eyelashes for your eyes. And I just want you to begin to get present to your thinking. This is not about stopping thinking or not thinking. It's about noticing your thinking. So is your thinking really fast? Is it slow? Are the, the thoughts the same or are they varied? Are you thinking about right now or are you thinking about the past or the future? Just notice your thinking. Kind of get present to your thinking. Mostly it's running the show in the background and we're not even really present to how we're thinking. So just pay attention to your thinking. Is it, are you empowered by your thinking? Is it disempowering you? Are you in the future, the past, or now? Are your thoughts repeating or are they varied? I'm going to spend about another 30 seconds just with your thinking. And we're doing this on purpose so that you get present to that so that when we go to the other parts of you, you can leave this part behind. Take another 20 seconds, be with your thinking, notice something new about your thinking. Am I thinking about now, the past, the future? What is what I'm thinking empowered or disempowered? Are the thoughts moving very fast and chaotic or slow and methodical? Are they repeating or not? Just notice what you can. Okay, good. Now we're gonna to travel to another part of yourself. So there is you, the thinking, and then there's you, in a body, you're actually, you may or may not know or think about it all the time, but you are in a body. Mostly we're not experiencing ourselves in a body. So I want you to now find a way to connect to your embodiment. Some people can do that just by, right, just by thinking about that and then they can focus. So the idea is to spend the next 90 seconds not thinking, but being present with either your pulse or your diaphragm or your hands touching your body. Like just feeling like connected, you know, with your body, just with your body. So your finger on your pulse point if you want, you know, on your neck or on your on your uh, wrist. You can just feel your hands connecting to your body. But I'm going to stop talking. So you can spend as much time as possible focusing on just your body and noticing what you can notice about your body. And you'll notice the mind keeps coming in. Just keep coming back to your body. I'm going to be quiet for about 60 seconds. I'm actually going to connect with my body.
Good. So you either did a really good, you know, either you were able to focus on the body or not. That's fine. Now we're going to come back, let your thoughts come back flying in. So you'll notice I kind of call it letting the monkey out of the cage. So your thoughts are so just notice how you're thinking. You know, you're obviously listening to what I'm saying, but then there's your thoughts about what I'm saying. You might be thinking about something else right now. Just notice your thinking again. Be with your thinking. Is it moving, are the thoughts moving fast or slow? Are they repeating or are they varied? Are you thinking about now or the past or the future? Just notice, are you empowered or disempowered in your thinking? So we spent time in the mind, we spent time in the body. Now I want you to find a way to connect with your emotional state. So this is, this is what many people find challenging because mostly um, to be fully with our emotions was, <clears throat> was confronting for the people around us when we were younger. So you're gonna, you're gonna practice for the next few minutes just feeling emotion without doing anything about it, without thinking about it, just feeling emotion. So um, there are four major categories that I'm aware of for emotions. There's fear, happiness, sadness, and anger. And there's spectrum for each of those. There's a large spectrum for each of those. So, you know, you may be right away, if you focus for a moment without thinking and feel, am I mostly happy right now, mostly sad, mostly fearful, or mostly angry? So for me, because I'm obviously I'm live here with you guys, there's, there's some, a significant amount of fear in my emotional landscape. So that's just natural because I'm you know, at risk here being on live video. Um, so just tune for yourself and see if you can notice what your emotional landscape is like right now. Primarily, there might be more than one, but just is it primarily fear, happiness, sadness, or anger? And maybe there's two. And then if you're having trouble connecting to, some people have a little challenge connecting with what the emotion is at the moment. So I actually tell people to, or share with people that they can, you know, try them on. So if you're, if you're not sure what I do, like I'll squeeze my fist and be like, okay, I, do I feel angry right now or no? Like, I don't feel that. So I try that and I don't feel it. And then you might, you know, if you're sad, you'd be maybe slumpier like this and then feel, there's a little bit of that for me. I can feel a little bit of sadness. But if it's like fear, it's like, you know, like that kind of frozen, like shocked, like, ah. Oh. And that feels really like, I do that, I feel that's, that's the emotion that's there. So I just want you to spend the next 90 seconds feeling your emotion without thinking about why or when it's going to end or anything else, but just feeling the emotion, either happiness, sadness, fear, or anger. And you can cycle through them if you want and see if that helps. I'll let you do that. 60 seconds without speaking. If thoughts are creeping in, just go back to what you're feeling. Keep focusing on what you're feeling. Almost always with the feeling there comes thoughts and just you know, see if you can keep yourself in the feeling. Okay, good. Let's come back to the thinking mind again. So get let yourself the monkey out of the cage again. There's just whatever thoughts are there. So notice right away, when you come back to thinking, are you now, are you future, past? Are the thoughts chaotic or are they calm? Are they repeating or are they different? Are they empowered, are they disempowered? Just notice what you can about your thinking. Don't try to not think. Just notice what you can about thinking. Then we're gonna go visit one more place, one more part of you. This is just to give you a sense of which of these ones are most easy for you to connect with, which of these parts of you your body, your emotions, your thinking, and what we now talk about. I call the you beyond your mind. Someone that I know thinks that's a funny, it's hard to understand, you know, it's hard to kind of grasp that, but we're gonna go there now. And there's lots of access points to the you beyond your mind. So for, I would like you to think about a time when, it's like 
time, maybe pause. It felt like time was stretching out. Maybe you've been present at the birth of a child. Maybe, you know, in some natural environment, you encountered an animal or you saw some amazing view. Whatever, whatever is a moment where you're just kind of like in awe and appreciating being alive. Maybe it was a conversation you were having with someone that was, you know, it's just like this, this is why I'm here. This conversation is important for me, for that person, maybe for the world or other people. There's some synchronicity. There's some serendipity going on. Just think about a time like that. And if not, if you can't think of one right away, you can imagine one where, you know, maybe you're lying on a hammock in the Pacific Islands or you're present at the birth of your child or the child of someone near you. Or like there's just, you know, these moments of appreciation for being alive. See if you can get yourself connected to that for the next 60 seconds. Be in that state of awe and appreciation and gratitude. I'm going to be quiet for about 60 seconds. Just let yourself be present to that. You have access to that at any moment. Okay, good. And then we're going to come back into the thinking mind again. So you, you had whatever experience you had with this. You, you, either, you either easily connected to your body, could stay present with your body, or it wasn't so easy. You had fast access to your emotions, or you didn't have fast access to your emotions. You could, you could connect with this gratitude, this awareness of, of, of you beyond time and space, for lack of a better way of describing it. So just to assess kind of how easily you can connect with these is important. Because there, each of those um, parts of you have energy available to give you if you know how to connect with it. And if you, are, um, if you don't have a habit of connecting with it, then you're missing out on some of the energy that's available to you to make the changes that you want to make in your life. So this is just a mini exercise to kind of begin to assess how connected you are to that energy. Um, so if you want, you can watch this again, or, or I really recommend you listen to it rather than watch. I know I'm gesticulating a lot and making a lot of motion, but it's good for you just to listen to what I'm saying and experience it in yourself um, multiple times. You can you learn, you start to see how you can connect with it further. And it, as you do that, as you practice that, you gain access to energy, I promise that. If you've got questions or comments, you can always type in the comments below this video whenever you want to, and I'll be sure to respond. It's just a little, little take on a guided meditation. Again, I apologize for what happened earlier where I lost the signal. I hope this was still valuable for you. And I just want to read um, one other thing to you, which is that if you enjoy the meditation, you are intrigued about how to develop a sustainable and fruitful relationship with your body, with your emotions, with your mind, and with yourself, I've got just a thing for you. It's a nine-week course focused on these energy magnifiers, much more than just this experience. There's a lot more to talk about. And it's starting up on December 10th. So it's a great way to transition from 2016 to 2017 with more energy. And there's only about three or four more spots left in the course. So um, if it sounds interesting to you, comment in below in the, in the comments here, and then I'll, I'll post a link in the comments and um, you can find out some more information about that. If there's anything you want to say right now, you can type comments below and I'll respond to you. Otherwise, we're going to be wrapping up shortly. And it's been great to be with you. I plan on doing more. I've now done one um, where we did a breath-focused meditation. This one was a guided one. Well, I can uh, offer you a mantra-based one in the future, uh, movement-based one. So if you've got requests for different kinds of focusing, presencing meditations, you can comment about that below. Um, otherwise, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing, which is picking one that seems most relevant to me right now. And it's a pleasure to be with you. I enjoy doing this. It's fun. Get to be myself and contribute and offer things to people, which is what I like. And um, yeah, it's been great to be with you. So we're going to be signing off in a moment. I'm not seeing any comments. I don't know if that means that people are still away from their computers or if there's something going on with the technology, but we'll look again later. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and um, have a great day.
yeah, have a great weekend. And if, you, if the course sounds interesting, make sure you comment below and I'll post the link so you can look over the details.